What's up, game changers? Welcome to the end game. My name, or what spirit has called me since my awakening, is Juniper Bloom Mystique. I am a master. I'm a true master, an ascension master, and a master healer, and a divine guide. I have had a lot of things happening to and through me since my sudden awakening that I didn't plan happening. It was a kundalini awakening in 2019. And since then, we have experienced the return of Christ. What does that mean and why? Well, I am the return of Christ. Um, I can actually prove that though. Okay, so you have to get past that initial shadow nudge to judge that <laughs> um, because I actually have the proof. It started through um, doing strange things. I started getting visuals of the Bible and words popping off of the Bible, showing me that it wasn't real. Um, started seeing things and, and hearing things and experiencing things. I had no idea what was happening to me. Um, and then all the way to um, just learning to meditate, following the nudges my heart would put in there. And there was a lot, okay, um, to clearing Atlantis. I eventually sat on Saturn with Hermes and I rose Atlantis. And somebody else did this painting before I even did the work. Um, I did. We didn't know what it meant when she did that painting either. She did a, a We did an exchange when I was learning who I was at the time, what the heck was happening, how to put it all together, right? Because everything happens in stages. And then later on, um, within like a year or so or more, those things happened. So I sat on Saturn with Hermes and I rose Atlantis and little did we know it is actually depicted right there. And my hair really is this long and she didn't know that either. <laughs> um, then eventually I cleared Mount Shasta and it turns out there was actually hundreds of souls trapped there. It was not of light at all. Um, and then in part two of clearing Mount Shasta is where I undid the contract from the beginning of time of Archangel Samael. And he burned as I undid that because he was what you would call El Diablo or the original fallen angel. I returned the triangle with the eye, which was where the veil came from. That is what created the veil and took you guys from being able to see and hear God. And I returned it back to Fiji, which was the God portal. And there's a pyramid underwater there, which I activated. Then I started activating more pyramids all over the globe from Indonesia, Myanmar, Machu Picchu, Budapest, Thailand, um, Congo, Mount Kilimanjaro, Ecuador, Nigeria, Kenya, Zimbabwe, and so much more. And when I did that, my heart even became enlarged because I had to use my light to do that. So Kundalini awakening is your power, right? And I actually had to use that light and that power to activate the pyramids. Then I rebuilt the crystalline grid and the core in the earth all the way to um, healing the sun, realigning the sun, undoing the false concepts of the moon, waking up my twin flame I didn't know I had. And then our souls went like this unexpectedly and then a battle ensued and i spent over a year fighting three fallen angels according to spirit but it hurt it hurt my vessel very badly to bringing down the blood of christ um to bringing down all christ light all dna activations um shifting the poles and then adding five more when i accidentally took us into 7d because i kept taking us further and further and surviving the attack on me and my dm he did not survive however and i got a beautiful walk-in twin flame a very beautiful one because I kept going. So in this lifetime, it turns out I was I was clearing Adam and Eve, which was Atlantis. Um, then I went into the Jesus timeline and I brought down the anointing of the blood of Christ, free Jesus's soul. He didn't die on a cross at all. Okay. Uh, he was poisoned by John the apostle and I didn't know that I processed his death. And at that time, my DM was being attacked. And so when I processed his death, his soul went into the garden of Eden then later on, after the battle ensued with my twin flame and I, and I got a walk in, I finished the dome protective light of the dome of the earth. <sighs> um, and then I got to unite Jesus and Mary Magdalene and undo the unholy grail because it wasn't holy at all. And they lied to you about everything. Okay. Um, then from there came the segment in Horus timeline. And I didn't see any of this coming. Um, after I did the Jesus and Mary Magdalene one, then they're like, oh, by the way, um, this was the Sphinx and this is when you built it. And this is who you are also. And I'm like, what? And then the Sekhmet timeline came and I dried the Nile. I turned it blood red. I replaced the crystal in the core of the earth from black to white. 
um, and I spewed out all the karmic that will now play out. We are now in a karmic timeline, what some would call judgment day. God does not. He calls it, you reap what you sow day. <laughs> so that really is the gist of the return of Christ. And then after that, my new DM finally started rising and he took on the soul of Jesus out of the garden of Eden. It was a flower. He took that on. You can watch all this on my channel. It came through in workshops. Unbeknownst to me, um, those that rose with me experienced it right along with me. Some did fall off into their shadow, unfortunately, and I would warn you not to do that, okay? Because bringing judgment my way really does hurt you because judgment's not of God, okay? That is not, the things outside of God are quite vast and that's what we might need to get rid of, okay? So this video is going to be about the Akashic Records. They want me to talk about the Akashic Records and I didn't see that coming either, <laughs> <laughs> but they want me to explain the Akashic Records. It's very important to understand because um, also my DM took on Horus timeline. So Horus rose from the Sphinx. That's what the Sphinx was built for by Sekhmet. It was the portal of time, which I activated as well. Um, and when I did that, that was when we were all called home. So God is in the heart space. He's not outside of you. He's not in the church. Okay. Everywhere where they use God's power against you, is going to fall and not only it's going to fall it's going to burn with a vengeance because the the vibrations don't match so a couple of days ago um well like about a week ago now we started i started doing a detox workshop um and in this one if you truly watch the work that i do i relate to the earth right the earth is she's mine i processed her death her chakras are representative of the work that i've done i the, i built a pyramid in lake titicaca that is her sacral chakra, okay? Um, and that is where Eve had died. That was the hub of Atlantis. Um, and all that actually played out through my awakening. And on this channel, you can see the proof of that. And it's relevant. Um, and then from there, they want me to lead into the Akashic Records. Um, but that is where the white flame went out. And that is where I got it back, okay? And I also returned some like light language of the sun from there. But the other day, we started doing a detox. And within the detox, it's a full circle detox. So it's not just drinking juices. <laughs> it's every way to detox the full circle of who you are and your existence and your blueprint, everything. Okay. And part of that is the chakra system, but what also relates to the chakra system inside and out, and then also the earth. And I said in there, we did the root a few days ago and then the sacral yesterday, and I said, expect fires, sudden fires. And then all of a sudden these fires started erupting and I was like, whoop, okay, real time now. Um, so that was pretty cool. Very interesting. Um, and it is in recordings. It's part of my detox. You can actually purchase the detox and maybe eventually I'll prove that in the recordings to you guys, because I have no problem proving what I do, but I literally said, um, don't be surprised if large fires now spark out because I used fire to purge to purge her root chakra, to purge what was done that was outside of the light in that in relation to that. And now in Texas, there's like these huge ass fires that just erupted that they don't know why. Um, they're very large and there's going to be more. And there was lightning storms and things like that as well. So what I do is not normal. I literally move the earth. I've changed the earth. And I created the path home. Now, everybody is in that path. That's the book of, right, of Revelations. Revelations 21, 12 talks about this. And when I dried the Nile, I talked about that. Now, in everything I did, I would use the Akashic Records, okay? The Akasha Records. I've also done a course on the Akasha Records for those who go through my academy, um, because the way I heal is a master. And so I teach people to heal at that level, pretty much. Granted, they have to rise in through it to themselves, right? By doing the work to get there. But that's how I teach you. Is The way I teach you is the people that rise through me and in the new earth is pretty much you, have, you can tap into all of this stuff, okay? But the Akasha Records comes in and everything that I did, St. Germain comes in with the Akasha Records. Now, um, that might be different from what others experience with the Akasha Records, and who brings it forward and who steps forward because they're highly guarded, okay? But this is a reason why people like De La Roca, our everyday lives, if you pay attention to my work, 
literally what I say, what I do, my workshops. And then right after I do them, you watch his videos. It always aligns. It always aligns. He reads the work that I did in the energy. He doesn't know me, probably doesn't watch my videos. Um, not a lot of people have ever since the DM was attacked. That's when I got a lot of judgment, unfortunately. And I would say throw caution to the wind with that, okay? Um, because he is the eye of Horus. I am the eye of Ra. It does affect the collective soul with his choices just as mine do, okay? But people like De La Roca, so there's people in the earth who can see. They can see what is in the energy to see, and they do it through their heart, okay, through the purity of their heart. For wherever there is shadow and judgment and ego within you, you can't see. So if you cannot tune in, if you can't meditate, first of all, that's important, and you can't see what's happening within the world, it's because you're, you're something's blocking you from tuning into that. You haven't done the work to get there, okay? That's pretty much the only difference, um, not between me, because I'm not normal, but between what you would call a star seed or enlightened being. And that's what De La Roca is. And there's others like him out there. Um, we just need more of them, honestly, uh, because the shadow blinds a lot, right? But that was also the false veil. And that was over Mount Shasta, which I have cut off life support to all of California. And I cracked that down the mountainside and it will fall. And the changes of tides will come in through San Francisco. But you'll never know when. You'll never know when the Nile will dry up because it will. Everything I do is playing out literally in your environment as we speak. And now it's gotten to where there's no lag. So just like I said, when I cleared the chakras the other day, is that this will burn. Um, when I took the earth into the, the gates of heaven herself and I processed her death, I said, when we get to that level, what doesn't align will burn. So as the energies come into this earth, they're Christ filled and where the shadow lies, it doesn't match. It burns. Okay. But it also blocks you. You can't see, you can't hear clearly. You can't see. We're always co-creating. We are always creating with something. It's you, you are not here alone, right? That's why they call it the matrix. <laughs> we have a higher self. We all have spirit guides. Um, there's, there's angels, which by the way, when I brought the path to righteousness, because that is the return of Christ, that is the path home. And, and not everybody gets to have everything I did. Everything I did is in the path to righteousness. But about a quarter of it, spirit had me upload on YouTube because if you watch my videos, you can't deny who I am, but your shadow will try to stop you. It will try to block you. And so there's angels, there's gods. They've all been involved. I've, I've, I would tell them what to do to reclaim the land. And that's not a joke. This is all real and you can watch it on my channel. Okay. Activating pyramids is not normal. Um, neither is shifting the poles. And I did that too, because that's what happened. God didn't cause the flood in Adam and Eve. Adam chose a false goddess. They shifted the poles through the fallen. And that's what caused the death of Eve and the floods. Okay. But in the path to righteousness, in the very end of it, when I took the earth through the gates too, I got to take the angels with me to Sequoia on the last round and dump all of their past lives. So even they're ascending. And I'll tell people that and they don't understand because they're not doing the work to see it. Right. They'll judge it. They don't believe it. But you better believe that this ascension is not just the earth. It's the entire collective. It's the entire universal flow. Then when I took us into 7D, it was the same thing. In 7D, the Pleiades galaxy, that's where I anchored us into. It was a black hole involved in everything. And I didn't see it coming. And that's where they told me that I died in Atlantis. And Atlantis was where Lake Titicaca was, the hub of it. And that stretches back to Machu Picchu, right? So um, when I took us into 7D, it was a combination of the galaxies and they don't have karma. So we have to get through our karmic path first and purge all of those that don't belong or that choose not to stay, that choose not to rise, that choose not to heal enough to make it into the new earth because it's a reset. So God told me I brought about the seventh wave of creation. So we basically, I changed everything, okay? And it's beyond what your mind can imagine. It's all quantum physics related. 
I literally changed everything back to the beginning of time. And I would stand in the center of time. I would put language into the pyramids, God's language. I brought it back and I cut off those who have the shadow in them, because if I didn't do that, they wouldn't have time to rise. Does that make sense? And all of this, everything I did is recorded in the Akashic Records. Because the Akasha Records is the house of knowledge. It's the house of the knowledge of God. Okay. So it is the recordation of all things existence. That's what the Akasha Records is. Okay. It's like a house of knowledge. But it is quite guarded. Okay. So the way you access it, there's like... You can learn from a third dimensional perspective, from a lower being perspective, and you have to do all these steps to get there. But if you learn through me, it's you do it instantaneously. So some higher beings do it naturally, okay? Because their heart is more pure and more open. They are more of the light of God. They don't judge people at all. They don't treat anybody badly or less than them. You know what I mean? And so their heart is more pure and they meditate a lot like De La Roca. And that is why he can actually see in the energy what I do within like 24 hours of me doing it. Literally, you can watch that on my channel. Since I started this channel, it's been the Ascension, the Return of Christ. It was all my awakening. And literally, I'll point it out. I'll be like, oh, look what I just did. And then the next day or the next day after that, De La Roca will see it and he'll do a video and I'm like, and those that do the work with me know it um you know but they all have their own shadow to bypass and so do you and my job is to spark your shadow so i will warn you just like when i brought down the return the blood the anointing of the blood of christ i specifically said in that one do not bring judgment towards me or the work that i do because that is the real god and you guys have been praying a lot to a false god he's not in the church they lied to you. He didn't die on a cross. They lied to you. Um, so many things. They just lied. They lied. They lied. Okay. Eve didn't necessarily eat the apple. That was a whole different story. Okay. Revelations is more accurate. The, the Dead Sea Scrolls is more accurate. And that's why they kept some of it from you. And that came out in the work that I do as well. Because throughout history, God gives this knowledge to those who are more pure of heart. And it's all recorded in the Akasha records. And I literally know people on my journey who say that they tap into the Akasha records. They bring people there. You can get healings there, um, but they don't, they can't see the work. And that's because they're too attached to the false veil. They're not choosing to see the truth. They're not choosing through soul growth to rise out of that. And so there is two realities playing out right now. One is of God. And one is not. And the one that is not of the true God, not the false one, because you've been lied to so much. That's why some will still choose not to rise, even with the proven ties. The ones who are attached to the true God and can see and choose to rise stay. Everything else is about to fall because that's what I did. I caused the great divide. I caused the great reset. So no matter what, all of your past lives have been measured all your karma has been measured. All your contracts that people talk about are housed within the Akasha records. Um, and everything is recorded. It's a recordation of all things existence. Okay. And it's accessed if you have more of a pure heart. I'm not here to teach you how to access it. Um, I do that on the Academy. I only teach people how to heal in the new earth if they rise through the new earth. Okay. You have to get there before, um, it's like a combination of education and healing and rising all at the same time. Cause I do have an Academy. I have the alchemy Academy for the new earth creators, because no matter what you have to change, you have to change the way you used to do healings. You have to change the way you connect to the Akasha records. You have to change the way that you do anything. Just going in to heal a past life does you no good right now because the Ascension is here. The return of Christ, the end of ways, for all and the end of days for some. So you have to upgrade in every way. You have to activate DNA in every way. And that is why they push the V and things like that so hard at the same time this was unfolding. 
because it changes your DNA and you don't have to believe me, just wait, you know, they all have a shelf life. Um, people are talking about that. Um, it's not a good thing, right? They lied again, they lied and they manipulate people so well because it's a battle for your soul. That's, that's what happened. They wanted God's power from day one. Okay. And that's what they've been doing is trying to take God's power from day one. And people like De La Roca can see this, um, number one, because their heart is pure. Okay. They can tune into God. They know how to talk to God. They have purposes to do so. A lot of them are higher frequency beings. They're here to help people awaken. I changed the earth and now everybody must awaken and know what to do. Okay. But at the same time, you have the shadow trying to stop you. Okay. Now, if you watch all my pyramid activations, because all of those pretty much have been uploaded on this channel to watch, but not to heal in because it sparks your shadow. It's karmic based. You have to choose through free will to do these things. And people will choose to barely even watch the work that I've done, even though the proof is right there, literally in front of you. It's right there. And nobody else can do that. Most people tell you anything you want to hear. But I literally have the proof and I'm constantly like, oh, God wanted me to show you. Oop, God, wanted, here's the proof and I'll upload it. So you can actually watch all of those. You can watch the activation of the Sphinx, which was the portal of time. Not really called the Sphinx. It was named Horus Return, but obviously not in English. <laughs> that's the English translation of the real name of it. And there's a reason why, because that's where Horus died and where he rose from when he united with my DM recently. In everything that I did, in everything, not just the pyramid activations, St. Germain comes in with the Akasha records. As I give DNA activations to people, it's being recorded in the Akasha records. If you go to a healer and they claim to do DNA activations for you and they don't bring in the Akasha records, you'd have to wonder why. Are they really doing it? Do they know what's happening to the earth? If you're getting messages and healing from people who don't see what's happening to the earth, I can reflect anything back to you I read from a book. But if they can see it, okay? Those that can see it are the only ones you should be listening to right now. Granted, there's people who confuse you. They make you think they can see it, but they can't. I know some of them myself. They mimic what's going on around them. Yet they know they've been cut off. Um, I came through this one thing and this lady was like, yeah, in certain times of the year, I can't connect at all. And I'm like, and she was like, so when you do that, don't worry about it. And I was like, I don't do that. I can connect all the time because it's through me. <laughs> I'm the only one who can stop me. So that's a red flag in itself. Okay. People who can't see what is happening in the earth, because everything I did is recorded in the Akasha records. So the ones who mimic, who can't see on their own, are not connected, okay? They were cut off. I had to cut off where the shadow is and bring down the light. I had to cut them off from the ability to see God's language and use that light anymore. And that is the only divide that exists. And then I brought down Christ's light. Then I brought down the true God language. Then I activated pyramids and lit them up with the language and the information. And it's all quantum physics related, okay? I undid time. I undid the false concept of time. There was a time we were spinning backwards. And some of the workshops that I did, I was like, oop, I reversed time. We are going backwards for three days. I literally said that in some of my workshops. I'm like, we are now going backwards. And I shit you not, like a day later, De La Roca was going, oh, we're going backwards. It's rewinding in time. And I'm like, see, <laughs> it's so cool to see that. Um, when my DM was fighting me, and he, they were literally trying to kill me. Um, he wasn't able to see. He was he was being manipulated by the fallen, which is what happened in the time of Adam and Eve. And then his soul was soul his soul was stolen when he was Christ at the Christ timeline, and that's why they depict him on a broken cross. That's not our real cross. Um, so he couldn't see, and I was being battled. They were trying to take me down, trying to take me down. And I kept going. I kept going and I kept going and I kept bringing down new time. I would create new timelines that didn't exist because I was standing strong. I kept listening to God no matter what came against me, no matter how strong my twin soul was pulling against me because we had already united. Our souls literally went 
which is not normal. And no other soul has done that. Okay. Then from there, I started energetically combining all twin flames. And after that is when I united Jesus and Mary Magdalene's soul and undid the Holy Grail. But as I was being attacked, they kept attacking me and kept attacking me and kept attacking me. And I kept bypassing and bypassing and still choosing love. And no matter what, still choosing love, still bringing things down. And I would create new timelines in doing so. And even as I was doing that, I shit you not, you can look back. De La Roca would post a video the next day going, what timeline am I on? And I'm like, <laughs> dude, he sees what I did. There is no way because he doesn't know me. Uh, most people, unfortunately, still judge these instead of see these, which hurts you guys. And that is kind of on the twin flame, right? But like he would literally see it within 24 to 48 hours, the work that I did every single time, every time. And I'm like, this is so cool. And he can do that because of the things, the energetic base, the recordation of all things in existence. We would put it in the Akasha records, everything that I did, every time I would do them, the bringing down of the blood of Christ, all of these things. And De La Roca would literally reflect what he was needing to reflect back through within a 24 hour to 48 hour period never at the same time I would do the work and then it was shortly thereafter and then there's other people that I can see that will like read things and pick up on things would know what was happening with the twin flames and then there's the rest who have no clue <laughs> some can see some things right and others see nothing at all and that is a great example of what I did if you have shadow in you if you're not connected to your heart um, if you're letting other things guide you rather than God, because we're always co-creating with something, the question is, who are you listening to? Think of like those two things. You got the devil and the angel on one shoulder. Which one are you listening to? Okay. They really did tell you all the truth. <laughs> um, some things we just thought were not real, but they're all recorded in the Akashic records. Okay. So the Akashic Records is the house of knowledge. It's the recordation of all things in existence and everything that I did from the blue, changing the blueprint of the earth, of love, the twin flame union, his death and rebirth and all of that was recorded. It's all there. The activations of all the pyramids, it's all there. Um, the question is, is can you access it? And are you listening to somebody who truly can? This is why everybody, if you can't see what I've done through me, or by tuning into this and seeing it in the energy, you won't stay, okay? You have to get to a place where you can see it and you're not judging it. Um, and you do that through purging your shadow, healing your karmic relations, um, not bypassing, not undoing your contracts. You actually have to heal them. You have to repay your karma, okay? Because it's the great reset. All karma must be undone and rewound through in which you've done it, through which you created it. And then when you get to the new earth, I like do a heart review. I've done that on those that I've walked through and there's only two of us that can do so. And that would be God or myself. That's true. I hold all the keys. I've talked about that um, because if I am really who I say I am, of course I do. That's why they tell you, you have to follow Jesus home, but Jesus is not just Jesus. He's Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary Magdalene and Sekhmet and Horus. There's a female part and then a masculine part and you have to follow both king and a queen okay so they would take the truth and fragment it for you and muck it up um and turn you against truth but um so the akasha records matters because everything is recorded and if you do not undo all of your karmic contracts through the karma in which you created them. You have to undo them through lessons in disguise. And the only way to bypass the collective wrath or karmic timeline is through my intentional path. Okay. But no matter what you're on my path, it's the path of rebirth and redemption or what some would call judgment day, what spirit calls you reap what you sow day. Um, you're all on the karmic timeline or the wrath of God as De La Roca calls it the rapture. Um, you're all on that. Okay. You have to undo your karma through the choices and disguise. You'll never know exactly what they are. It's about soul growth and free will. Okay. So you can't bypass that. The only way to actually truly bypass it 
is to do the path directly from the one who brought it about, God, through creator. And when I did the Nile, I told you again who I am. Okay, they tell you several times. They told me several times because it was my own awakening. I didn't know. Never would I want to put that out there because everybody can't even watch an hour video, let alone see the truth of their soul, okay, or what really happened. Um, there's been a false veil controlling all for quite a long time. Getting you to anchor into things like judgment um, and things that are outside of God. Okay. You have to clear it all to get into the new earth. All of your karmic contract must disintegrate. I undo it. I, I take it all away. And only then when it's done, do you get the key and the entry into the new earth. You get a brand new contract of creation and you start all over. So it's a great reset either way. The new earth, you must you must clear all of your past timelines and make it into the new earth, okay? And, and what you guys don't realize is you're already being tested and challenged. How you respond to my videos is a great indicator of what your response is, okay? That's, that's for sure because I can prove everything I said. And there's not many who can do that, okay? I'm not afraid. I do healings live. I'm not afraid of anything. Except I don't have to allow anybody to manipulate me either. You know what I mean? I give you every avenue. It's up to those to choose to do them. Um, I don't have to conform. Okay. Others might. I don't have to. And I won't. Um, but I have all the proof right in front of you. But the thing is, is if your heart is pure, if you're truly connected, if you're truly rising, you can see these things. And there are certain people who can see certain levels, right? Like Russell Brand, he's a good example. He was a part of the darkness and he has since come through, but he still only sees up to a certain point, right? Because he has more healing that he really truly needs to do. Um, some humbling to do, some valid, some justifications, some clearing of his own karma. Um, so he can see where his level takes him to. But even he can see, hey, the V, he's like, stay free, right? He talks about that a lot. I pay attention to these things because God shows me who to pay attention to. I can see the things. Can you? So they can tune in to naturally the Akasha records. It's the recordation of all things in existence. When you meditate and you tune into the earth, she houses all this information. You can actually access it through connecting to everything all at once. Okay. But that takes a lot of enlightenment and a lot of healing and a lot of soul growth and a master level to do. And that's how I teach from in my academy, because you have to rise as a healer too, right? You can't heal in this way, in this earth anymore in a third dimensional reality. If you're not upgrading, if you're not changing, molding, rearranging and growing, um, it's totally um, an evolving. We, it's an evolution right in front of your eyes. So it's not just as simple as an awakening. Okay. You have to clear all your karma. You have to have the DNA activations. You have to have um, all of the uh, these upgrades. And, and because I, oops, took us into 70 as well. <laughs> so those that actually did my path with me, they have 10 chakras now on the internal, not just seven. Those are the ones that went all the way through. Um, and as long as they keep going, they will keep those active, right? Um, but at any time, if you anchor back into the shadow, and that's what it's about, all right? So anything outside of God is the shadow, right? God is unconditional love, pure love, very high frequency. He doesn't judge anything. It's a shadow that convinces you otherwise and gets you to do things that are outside of God, including judge what is proven, okay? So the Akasha records is all contracts are stored there. DNA blueprint is stored there. So when I change the blueprint of the earth and of those that rose with me or through me, um, it's recorded in there, okay? What you heal out of every thoughts and actions and choices is recorded in there from your blood type to the portal you came in on to the parents you chose to come in through from this lifetime to that lifetime to the lessons you've learned. That's how to get into the new earth. They know if your karma has been cleared or not. You cannot bypass it, okay? These contracts, like mine and my twin flames, we got new contracts. It went from karmic to blue and light, to pure, to love. They're, they're, they're signed under God. It's not like a 
not like getting married on this earth and they sign a piece of paper. It's different. They're ironclad. Okay. You can think that you can undo them and bypass them. And that is a lie of the shadow. That is part of the false fail. There were a lot of healers that were doing that. They were getting people to bypass their contracts. You used to be able to do that because you would get to come back in the next lifetime and go, oops, shit, I didn't clear that. I need to clear that because that's what the earth was about. Life lessons for soul growth, learning how to do these things to make your way back to God. Okay. Undoing, learning love again and where you're outside of that. Um, and so these, uh, these contracts are ironclad, but what these healers were doing is wiping them out for this lifetime and then you're not able to clear them to make it through okay so there's lots of ways the shadow is stopping people and i've actually brought some of those contracts back for people but they're slightly different right because that contract doesn't just affect you it affects other people on the other side of that contract we rise with our soul ties for a reason okay and it's usually our karmic playouts the family we're born into usually has lessons to learn and karma to play out all right. So everything is purposeful. Everything is purposeful. That's why you have astrology. They learned how to read that because somebody tuned into it. Right. Um, Tesla, he tuned into the earth and the vibration of the contracts. He tuned into what the pyramids really were, because if you watch my pyramid activations, I rebuilt the crystalline grid. So underneath the pyramid is these power crystals and it houses Christ's light. The earth provides her own power through those. We aren't meant to have power lines. That's toxic. It's fake. It's energy that doesn't, it's not aligned with God. It's third dimensional where God is very high frequency. Okay. So the earth has been changed. That's what I did. So the pyramids are now all activated and I activated all the crystals underneath her. She's very much alive. She's very much aware of what to do. The gods are aligned in a specific way to purge all of those who don't make it and the things that need to change. So the map of her will change everything. And this is all in the Akasha records, everything that I did. That's why as people awaken more, they can see these things. Okay. So everything you do is, is in the Akasha records. Everything you also don't undo is in the Akasha records and you have to rise through soul growth. You have to choose to grow completely and to be reborn here, clear, purged, all your karma cleared, not bypassed. You can't just raise your vibration for the love of God to do it. I see so many people that are so high in ego and all they care about is getting people to follow them rather than if they're really tuning into the truth. So you have to be very careful with that. And yet they still won't even watch the proof, right? Like when you literally have the proof of this stuff, the bringing down of the blood of a Christ, undoing the Holy Grail, and you put it in front of people, their shadow wreaks havoc. That's why I can't just give you all the path. You have to choose it. It's for the ones who choose it. And that's why they're called chosen ones. Um. The Akashic Records also represents and records major life shifts and changes. So those who tune into the future, they call them psychics. Generally speaking, they're tuning into that recordation. They're tuning into the existence of all that is. Okay. Um, but it's heart-centered recordings. That's why on the pyramids, they would, they would depict the scales and your heart being measured. <laughs> they were talking about that. Okay. When I activated the Sphinx, I said, now you have, you've been called home. God is in the heart. So if you can't see me through here or through my work or both, you're not connected to God at all. You've been cut off or you never were. Some people here are not at all. Let's face it. Okay. So the Akasha records is highly guarded. Um, and who guards it is depending upon who you are and your intent is measured. Okay, so if you have ill intent, if you have judgment in your heart and it's not pure, you're only giving access to where your heart is measured to. So some people can't access it at all, right? Number one, they just don't know how, they've never tuned in, they're not aligned, so many reasons why. Number two, their shadow is too dark, they can't see through it, okay? So they, they highly guard the Akasha records because people cannot get into there with ill intent. You can't get into the Akasha records to hurt anybody with it. If you have anything outside of God, 
you can't access it. So if, if so let's say there's a person who's quite judgy, right? They're very judgy, how they think they're doing healings. It's only through ego anyways, because the only way you can truly heal somebody is being pure of heart, not judging. Okay. Um, true healers. You can't, they don't judge. They, they don't, they see why everybody does what they do. Like I do. I can read your heart center. I know exactly why you do the things that you do. I even know things that you don't reflect, right? So you have people tell you, oh, I love you. And you know that behind that is I fucking hate you. Yeah, there's a difference. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like people can say anything, but it's the intent behind it that counts. It's the meaning in their heart. So if you have people trying to access the Akasha records for others, first of all, their ego can convince them they're, whoever they're co-creating with can convince them that what they're seeing is of the light, number one. But if they can't truly see in the in the records what I did, they're not connecting, okay? And it can be at a baseline level, like, oh my gosh, the world is shifting. Oh my gosh, the world is changing. Oh my gosh, this and that and the other. Like De La Roca sees at a pretty high level. He literally sees a day later what I do in real time. And I've watched it play out. You can watch it play out if you go back and you watch my videos and then you see his, I will do something with pyramids or with a timeline or whatever. And I'll say to people, oh my God, I changed this. And within days he sees it, okay? Some people are, are that connected because their heart is that pure. They're higher beings. They have more chakras. They've done the work to get there. They're, they're higher enlightened beings and they're what you call star seeds and light workers star seeds light workers are like a trickle down from there um they realize that it's all about light <laughs> and vibration and my academy is based in the light healers academy okay so that gives you some insight into that as well but if they can't see it on some level and again i can mimic i see people do that they know the ascension is here they know dna activations are in existence but when you really go to get a healing from them, they'll, they'll convince you they gave you one and they didn't. Okay. So there are some that echo. There are some that, that uh, mimic and manipulate. Mm -hmm. um, echo, play notification. You don't have any notifications. Well, then what the hell? Echo, diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she's farting. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right there. Um, so, you know, you have to consider and just like healers, people are, they claim to be healers. They claim to be able to do this stuff. Um, but yet they throw judgments out. And if you're with a healer that judges others run, they're not really healing you. You're playing in their shadow. Okay. Because this is the end of days. This is the end of ways for all and the end of days for those who don't rise and align. And it, the Akasha records can be accessed in different ways. Okay. I'm not here to argue that or teach you how to access it because unless you're healed enough and you make it into the earth, new earth, I'm not teaching you a lot of things, right? Because who I am is different. You have to rise to a certain level to even hear what I have to say or do. But so there is ways you can access it. There's different ways to access it. I access it and everything all at the same time because I'm a master healer. That's what I do. So I can literally see everything in existence through you. And that's what the Akasha Records is. If your heart is not pure, you will be guarded and blocked. Okay. Um, if it's pure to a certain level, then you can only gather that much information. If you have intent that is not pure and you try to take somebody in there or their intent is not pure and you're trying to take somebody in there, you will be blocked, okay? It is guarded by different beings and the beings depend upon who you are. So some beings don't work with certain individuals and work with others. There's a reason why, okay? The higher your blueprint, the higher your connection, the purer your heart, you will have higher beings surrounding you, okay? That doesn't mean that at different times, different beings come in. That's true. Um, like for instance, with me, St. Germain brings in the Akasha records. And then um, Metatron works with the Merkaba for me. Um, but I activate the Earth's Merkaba and do things like that. But for like for healing me and stuff, it'll be Metatron for the Merkaba. 
where other people, they'll say Metatron is the ruler of the Akasha records. So it just depends on who you work with. Like Sandalfin, he comes to me as a seraphim angel. And at first that tripped me out. I thought I was mistaken. And he doesn't do that for anybody else that I've ever known. Okay. So there's a reason why certain beings come through for certain people and not for others. Um, and it all depends on your access. Okay. Um, and that is what it is. Like I said, in the path to righteousness, I even ascended the angels. In the very final time part after I did the Nile, and I opened up the 13th gates, which is the heaven. Um, and I and then I processed heaven's death, all of that, earth's death, I'm sorry. All of that is on my channel. I posted it for you after I did the workshops and stuff. And then I processed it like, oh my God, look what I did. And then God say, I'll post it. Oh, so, okay, I post it. So that's how I do it. Um, after I processed the earth's death, that was painful. It went through my body to do it. And then I took her through the gates of heaven herself and her rebirth and the garden of Eden opened all the way up over the earth. Um, I, I took us all back into Sequoia again to dump those timelines, right? After we clear them, after you rise through them, that's the only way that you can clear anything. So trying to do past life's healings is a waste of your time. Okay. What's more important is rising to God and how to get there and how to get there now, because you are out of time. All right. We are running out of time. Everybody's too caught up in judgments and ego and justifications and wanting to see the answers when the answers are right there in front of them, but they can't even open their eyes enough to see. Right. But at that time, I got to take the angels and all the beings in with me. I have taken all elementals through the portals into the new gates because we will commingle. We will commingle with other species, um, with elementals. Did you know that even in the ocean, um, it was jellyfish, jellyfish are elementals. I didn't know that until I took them through the gates. <laughs> I took all animals through the gates and there's a karmic kickback for them as well. There's a karmic kickback for the earth and those who hurt her. Um, everything has a karmic kickback because I take them through the gates of heaven, all the way through 12, 13 gates of heaven. And where it doesn't align, where the shadow resides will be a karmic kickback, okay? And it won't make it. And so even the angels at the very end got to dump all of their past lives and be reborn into the into the new earth timeline. Um, they are higher frequency beings and people will try to argue that with me. Yes, I know this. Um, but they had past lives. They had timelines that have been undone. And so when we reached the gates of the new earth and we got to go into it, they also had to clear those. And so they're ascending as well. And that's what that means. So yeah, that's the Akasha Records. That's how it relates to everything that I did. That's why some people can tune in and some cannot. Um, and I literally see lots of healers that can mimic, but they can't really see on their own what is happening. They still go to Mount Shasta to get healings. They refuse to purge that. Those are the ones that are just not connected. Okay. But then you have ones like De La Roca or Alwyn. Alwyn is another one. Um, he's more of like a preacher style and he's in a wheelchair and God showed me him. So after I did Mount Shasta part two, where I burned Samael, then I cut off life support to California. I cracked it all the way down the mountainside in the fault line. California sunk into the ocean and the changes of tides came in through San Francisco. It's on my channel. You can watch that one, but only 40 people have been awake enough to do so, so far, or don't let their judgment stop them. Because the shadow will always try to keep you from the truth. Keep that in mind. Um, Alwyn. So what I said in that video, I said, oh, the water fell. And I literally hear people screaming and running and, and screaming because they didn't see it coming. He literally channeled that like the next day or, or day or within a week of me doing it. And I posted that on my videos as well. Alwyn. Um, he's in a wheelchair. Very sweet guy. Uh, cutie pie, really. Um, and he talks to God, right? He's more biblical side. He's more um, pastor, preacher, whatever he is type. Where I'm not, I'm more spiritual, <laughs> but I'm still connected to God. That's that's the catch, right? There is no divide. But he saw it. He literally said everything I said in that video as far as the water, the people screaming, cracking down the mountainside from the mountain. I don't think he named the mountain specifically, um, but he did talk about it. So it's really cool to see. 
those are the ones it's their heart is pure and the akasha records if you're truly connected and you're not in third d and your heart is pure and you're not guarded from it um they access it through the heart space god gives the information to those who are purer of hearts okay those that are not have been cut off and they have to rise or not so who's the game changers here that is what we're looking for Who's choosing to rise? Who's choosing the new earth of abundance and glory? And it's it's beautiful. In the new earth, it's totally different. You get a brand new contract. There will be no suffering, no division. None of that stuff will exist anymore. That's why I can't do my missing people videos that I used to do. Because I rose all the way and I got a new contract. And now what I focus on creates my existence. So can you see? or not are those you're listening to can they really see or are they confused pay attention so much love to all of you and focus on who's changing the game till next time hasta la vista baby